Earlier this week, Beth Ruak talked with the executive director of the NCAA, Dick Schultz, about several things, including underclassmen eligibility and football playoff. Hear their conversation. Do you remember 12 weeks ago when Miami sat at the top of the AP preseason poll? What happened each week since then... <laughs> ...left no team unbeaten and untied. This is the way it should be. Uh, you ought to be able to go into a Saturday and not have any idea who's going to win and uh, have the team that maybe is ranked uh, 15 be able to beat the, the number one team. To me, that's what it's all about. That's, that's college football. In fact, there are a lot of people that say, though, that that is the perfect argument for national playoffs. It's not going to be the fans clamoring for a clear-cut number one or the media saying we ought to have a playoff. It's going to be because the NFL continues to expand their schedule, play through uh, December 31, and this is eventually going to be the cause of the demise of some of the smaller bowls. Then the college community will be ready to take a look at a playoff. And how soon might that happen, do you believe? That's hard to say. I, I think it could happen sometime in the 90s, but as I say, I think it'll be later in the 90s rather than earlier in the 90s. Today is supposed to be the official day for bowl invitations, and yet we have learned that five bowls had handshake agreements as early as November 3rd. So doesn't that imply that that rule has been meaningless this year? Well, it's been a meaningless rule for a long period of time, and uh, we pushed to get that rule out a year ago, but the bowls lobbied pretty hard with some of the membership, and it was sustained. I think the only way that uh, we're going to resolve that is that uh, everybody's going to have to get burned, and then they'll, they'll reach some type of gentleman's agreement on the selection process. Is college football moving in the direction you wanted to see it move? Well, I think we, I think we need to do some things to uh, increase the uh, visibility, not necessarily the visibility, but spice up college football a little bit. Uh, I don't think that the Bulls are necessarily doing that right now. He's not convinced that in the beginning, football playoffs could generate a windfall equal to the NCAA basketball tournament. But then Schultz prefers a playoff structure of only two or four teams in the first year. Either way, he says, the NFL schedule creates a definite impasse in college football postseason action. My understanding is they're going to give each team two off weeks in the future. And basically, that's going to be hard to resolve because they're doing that for television purposes, for exposure of their ball clubs. And, and they're in it uh, from a business standpoint, and, and probably the, the concern for the Bulls is not there. People describe you as boldly and aggressively leading the NCAA into the 90s. Would your legacy then be a system of national playoffs for college football? Well, I would hate to have that be my own legacy because I don't, that's not high on my priority list.